folks, this is Carrie Stack over at All Seasons RV in Streetsboro, Ohio. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the 2016 Premiere that we have in stock here. It is by Keystone. It's part of the Bullet line. And uh, right off the bat from the front you can see it's got that really nice molded fiberglass cap on the front with the LED lights so that you can easily see what you're doing if you're hooking up late at night or early in the morning or you pull into a campground late. Um, you also can see right up front, you've got a power tongue jack. It's so much nicer than cranking that up and down. It will come with the propane tanks and of course battery as well. So continuing around the side, we're going to take a look at the outside first. You've got these nice heavy duty slam door latches that just close like that. They are held up by magnets so you don't have to worry about those little catches. And this storage area <clears throat> goes all the way through. It is nice size. Nice and big, you can get a lot of stuff in here, and it also has a light in here as well, so you can see what you're doing, again, if it's a little bit later at night or early in the morning. Coming around, you can see we've got a power awning. It is a nice size awning. It goes almost all the way to the back of the trailer from here, and it does have LED lights underneath that awning as well, so you can enjoy your campsite at night too. Three steps in, so you don't have any major steps up. I know some of them are pretty big. And you can see coming around the slide out, you've got a cable pulley system, which gives nice even compression on all four corners. To the back, you've got an outdoor entertainment area. So it comes with the television you see here. It's got a mini fridge down below. You've got a storage compartment here. And then you also have a part coming out. So you've got a little counter space as well. This unit also comes with a bumper mount grill. The mount is right on the back bumper here. The grill itself is under the bed. It does come with it. And this arm just swings over so that you can be watching TV, tailgating, enjoying the outside. You don't have to go back in the camper for those folks that are cooking. So continuing around the back, you can see it does come with the spare and the cover. It also has a backup camera already mounted on it and it does come with the monitor that goes in your vehicle as well. Something else that you can see easily from this angle is that it has the upgraded frameless windows. These are really nice, you don't have to worry about leaking, and you can have them open when it's raining out as well. Power cords right over here. It is retractable, so that's nice and handy. Just comes out here. And this is 30 amp service. If we continue around back to the front on this off side, You've got a few things. You've got your dump valves here, which is nice and convenient. You can see you've got your black tank, your gray tank. It's not underneath the slide out, which can be very awkward. You also have your outside shower right next to it, so it's nice and handy. And then you do also get a black tank flush on this one too. So you don't have to be dragging a garden hose in, sticking it in the toilet. You can just hook a hose right to this inlet, turn on the hose, it activates a sprayer inside that tank and you can pull your releases. Regular water hookups, of course your regular city water connection and your fresh water tank fill. And this is the other side of your pass-through storage area. So you've got your crank for your stabilizer jacks. Again, nice big area you can see. But let's take a look at the layout inside. So we continue back around. All right, as we go in, First off, your bathroom is very convenient to the doorway, so you don't have to have people tromping through the camper to get to the bathroom when you're enjoying the outdoors. So your bathroom's right here. You've got your toilet. Nice corner shower with your glass. And then you also have storage cabinet up top, storage cabinet down below, and you've got your outlets in a nice convenient spot. If we come back around right by the door, you've got a nice storage cupboard, so you've got hanging hooks right here. It's got a nice amount of space. And then you even have another little cubby down below as well. So coming into the main area, you've got your fridge right to the right here. This looks to be an eight cubic foot fridge. So nice and large and still has the gas option on it. So it's gas or electric. And as we continue into the main living area, you can see this is a really nice couples coach layout. So let's start over here. Nice pantry area, nice and big. You can put a lot of canned foods, uh, paper towels, that kind of stuff in here. You've also got your stovetop, 
nice amount of counter space next to it so you got plenty of space for prep and to put plates and platters and things like that. This does have an island kitchen. That island is nice size. Again, counter space. You've got a ton of it here. So you even have space for a drain basket, which I often hear people don't have space for. More storage down below in these cupboards. You also have another set of cupboards up top, and that's where we put that uh, monitor for the backup camera that comes with it. And then you've got all these cabinets and drawers, as you can see, in the island as well. Coming over, you've got another kind of pantry style area. So you've got a lot of options here for storage. You can use it as a pantry, you can use it for extra linens, you can use it for games. Although I would imagine most of your games would be able to fit in this entertainment area here. So you've got more cupboards down below. You also have your cupboards up top. So there you go, you got your cupboard down below. Cupboards up top, you got your stereo system, and the TV you see here does come with it. In the back, you've got cupboard up top, cupboard up top, they didn't want to waste space here. Nice big picture window in the back of this coach, so you've got great views of wherever it is that you're camping, whether it be the lake or out in the fall when you're taking a look at the leaves. This couch runs along the back, got outlets on both sides, and a nice little countertop on each side too, so you've got a nice spot to set a drink or a book. This couch does pull out, so you've got an extra sleeping space. Coming over, you've got your theater seats. These do recline, and you have your cup holders built right in. Storage cabinets up above, and I sound like a broken record, but this unit has great storage. You even have the little storage in the armrest here. Coming over, you've got your booth style dinette. There are drawers underneath this that pull out. So you've got nice size storage there. And you can see all the upholstery is in fantastic shape. More windows that are good sized. Again, great views of wherever it is that you're camping. More outlets, another set of outlets there. They, they do a great job with outlets in this. And you can also see that it has an arch to the ceiling. So for anybody who's a little bit taller, that's going to give you more clearance. And it also makes this whole coach feel a little bit bigger. Let's take a look at the bedroom now. And hopefully you can see on these doors too, this nice detail that they did on this. So going into the bedroom, you've got your queen size bed. You've got your storage on either side and up above. Again, a nice amount of space. And they also cut it so that you've got a place to put your phone or your tablet or your book or magazine or whatever it is that you have, CPAP machine. I know a lot of folks have those. And you can see there's a set of outlets for something like that right there as well. There is also storage underneath the bed. And again, nice size windows in the bedroom. That's not always the case. So you've got good ventilation and again, good views of wherever it is that you're camping. You can mount a TV in here. The hookups are right up above here and the TV would mount on this wall. That's just a quick overview of this unit. It is a 2016 Keystone Bullet Premier and it is in fantastic shape. Uh, we were really thrilled to get this unit in. If you have any questions about it, feel free to give me a call. The phone number here is 330-564-0222. Again, my name is Carrie, and I'm with All Seasons RV in Streetsboro, Ohio. You can also visit our website at www.asrvs.com. Check this out. We've got pictures on there as well. And again, give me a call with any questions, and hopefully we'll get you camping in a camper that's a good fit for you. Thanks, and have a great day.